Hi everyone. Welcome to our popular series of English idioms and phrases that regularly feature in various entrance exams. In today's lesson, we are going to discuss the 10 idioms that you can see on your screen. Let us start with our first idiom which is a bolt from the blue. This phrase derives from the idea that blue is the color of clear sky from which one does not expect any lightning to strike if you get a bolt from the blue it is totally unexpected and so this idiom means an unexpected shock for instance the news of his failure in the examination was a bolt from the blue as no one in his family was expecting it next is a broken reed well in a reed instrument such as a flute a reed is a thin strip of wood that produces sound when air is blown over it when the reed breaks the instrument becomes useless and cannot be depended upon so figuratively a broken reed is an expression used to refer to an unreliable or undependable person you might use this phrase as in the following sentence that man is a broken reed trust him at your own risk a cry in the wilderness the word wilderness in english means an uncultivated uninhabited and inhospitable region if you happen to be stuck in such a region then howsoever much you might cry for help no one is going to hear you or come to your rescue those cries for help will be a useless effort which is what this idiom means a cry in the wilderness denotes a useless effort for example when the workers appeal to settle their grievances proved a cry in the wilderness they decided to resort to strike a mare's nest this phrase is a tricky one because it has two unrelated meanings and there is little to connect those two meanings the word mare refers to a female horse and as we know mares do not make nests the first meaning of the phrase relates to this very fact if someone thinks he has found a mare's nest he is probably under the impression that he has found something remarkable when in fact it is nothing of that sort so a mare's nest can denote an illusory discovery it's an illusion it's not true for instance a good number of innovations turn out to be mare's nest on deeper probe the second meaning which is more widespread today is that a mare's nest is a complex or confused situation a muddle an example would be the sentence your office desk is usually a mare's nest a wild goose chase everybody knows how difficult it is to chase and catch a wild goose so the phrase means a foolish and hopeless search in pursuit of something unattainable for instance their attempt to get back the stolen ring proved to be a wild goose chase next idiom is above board this term is believed to have originated in the gaming community if card players keep their hands above the table which means board they can be seen to be playing fairly on the other hand most dishonest practices like maybe passing a bribe to someone are done below the table so the phrase above board can be used to describe something like a transaction which has been done in the open without dishonesty concealment or fraud an example sentence is ram is an honest officer and all his dealings are above board next is the expression all thumbs imagine if all the fingers in your hand were thumbs your hand would not have the same flexibility and you would be so awkward in holding or handling things so the idiom means 
to lack physical coordination, skill or grace. Another word for which is clumsy. A short and sweet example for this idiom. When it comes to dancing, he is all thumbs. Probably because he keeps stepping on the foot of his partner. At loggerheads. This is an easy one. At loggerheads means in violent dispute or disagreement. An example sentence that illustrates this meaning is The neighbors were at loggerheads over the parking space for their cars. At once wits end. The word wit means intelligence. So the phrase at wits end means at the limit of one's mental resources, drained of all ideas and utterly confused or frustrated. For instance, at his wits end, he decided to take the help of his seniors for his project work. And the last one in this section is to beggar description. Well, this term alludes to the idea that words are insufficient to do justice to a particular thing. So, if something beggars description, it is beyond description. An example sentence would be, The Taj Mahal by the moonlight beggars description. That brings us to the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Don't forget to press the like button if you did and also subscribe our channel to access other such useful content. Happy learning and take care. Bye-bye.